Hello Stampers, Kelly Atchison at astampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. So yesterday, or actually this morning, I shared a video that was kind of um, pretty exciting and it's uh, pretty life-changing about adding the leftover stickers from your cling mount stamps to your clear mount stamp so that your labels would stick on there. And I just got confirmation from somebody that um, you need to be careful about which side you're using. And I kind of wondered about that, but I wasn't sure. And of course, I was wondering about it after I already posted the video. So I feel it is my obligation to definitely um, update you on this so that you don't have any problems using this technique. So I just got one of my clear mount stamps, okay? These are not the real clingy ones that are all new with Stampin' Up. And I'm going to add the sticker to this one. And this is how I do it. You peel off the backing and then you very carefully line this up and then you peel it off, okay? And let me grab a black here. If you haven't seen that video yet, um, these don't stick really good to our blocks, okay? So we were always having to modify. Put tape runner on it, scribble a little tiny thin line of our liquid glue, and then they would stick. And, you know, then, you know, sometimes your blocks get dirty, and it was just kind of a hassle. So now with these new cling stamp sets, you have these super-duper clingy um, stickers. And I don't have my take your pick tool with me, but the best way to get these off of your stamps, and I have quite a mess going on my desk here. I'm in the middle of my online class, so I'm having a hard time finding things. Um, the best way to get these stickers off is to use your take your pick tool, that spatula end, and get it under there so you're lifting up that sticker a little bit, and then you can take your stamps off the block easily. Don't just grab your stamps and rip them off because that cling sticker might stay there and you're gonna rip the foam. So the big aha moment was when we figured out that we can use what's left over of the cling stamps and put them on our clear mount stamps that don't stick as well. So I want to make sure that you understand you have to use the same side of the sticker that you would if you were putting your stamps together. And that's a little confusing, right? So I am going to um, give you a demonstration here so you understand what that means. All right, so I have got a strip here of the sticker. And now I am just going to... Um, when you peel the when you peel these labels off, you then put your stamp down. So that's the same thing that you're going to want to do with the stickers when you're adding them to your clear mount stamp. So what I'm going to do here, and this is a little trickier, is I'm going to make sure that my adhesive has stuck to the paper. Because if I were to peel off the label for a regular stamp and then put the stamp down, this is the side that needs to be sticking on your clear mount stamp. And now I'm going to take this stamp and I'm going to press it on just like I would if I was doing a sticker. And I hope you can see this, but you can see that strip of sticky there. Now, these are good and sticky. They will help um, keep your stamps on the block. Nothing is falling off now. I can't just bump it and push it off. But you wanna make sure that you're using the right side of the sticker because if you don't, the other side is super duper sticky, the side that sticks to the stamp, and you could have some issues with that being really hard to get off the blocks, okay? So I just had that confirmed this morning, and I wanted to share that with you because who the heck, I don't, who the heck, I don't wanna be giving out bad information. Um, if you watched my tip video, the second time I demonstrated this for you, I actually did what I just did here because I was, I don't know, I was a little unsure. But anyways, we're sure now that you need to use the correct side of this. And if you wanna see me do another one of these, I am happy to do that. This, by the way, is a cute little stamp set called One For All. It's got that big birthday, happy birthday greeting in there. I love big greetings. Um, and I'm going to 
take the backing off my stick off my stamp take the oh shoot I hate it when this happens you guys so try to be careful this is another good example try to be careful and keep that label in here it's just easier for placement to get your stamp placed just right so that your label fits properly okay so here we go I've got this ready now I'm gonna take my cling stamp leftover sheet and I am going to cut a little sliver here and let's see if I can get this now you have to again make sure that you're getting just the backing off not the stickery part and my stickery part is sticking to this so I have to work a little bit harder there we go let me see if I can hold this up for you so you can see it separating see that the sticky part is still there and I'm pulling the backing piece off okay and now I'm just gonna snip this a little bit more so it will come off on my stamp and now I'm gonna take my stamp press it down onto the sticky paper and we have another great cling stamp that's gonna stay on that block it's not gonna just flip off so there you go I wanted to update you as soon as I knew about this because holy cow I don't want anybody to be um, yeah having problems with that so I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you again on Sunday night at 7 p.m. Central Time and just so you know I am coming in from a training in Michigan Sunday and I'm got my fingers crossed that I'm gonna be back in time to do my Facebook live and if I have to um, delay it by a little bit, I will be updating you on this Facebook page to let you know what's happening with me and my schedule. But I am planning on being back at 7 p.m. Central Time. Please feel free to share this video. And I will be uploading this to YouTube for all of my YouTube followers to make sure that they know about this tip and um, use the labels the right way. This is kind of a game changer and I was super excited about it because you know we never put our labels on these stamps because they wouldn't stick and I'm a lazy stamper. I said that a million times too but um, they wouldn't stick but now I, I, I enjoy my labels again so I'm pretty happy about that. Okay you guys have yourselves a wonderful Wednesday. Bye-bye.